Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming from the beach in, in Naples, Florida. So stand on up and join me because today we are working some abs. We are not going to hit the floor. We are going to do this standing up. If you have weights, go grab them. You just want five pounds or lighter. If you don't have weights or just don't want to use any, then don't use any. No biggie. Um, but we are going to work those abs and we are going to do it standing up. So stand on up with me. If you have the weights, grab them in your hand. You want to hand them, uh, hold them like a hammer hold, which is just like this. Um, I do not have weights, so I'm using these um, drink bottles that I have handy. All right, you guys, we are going to be right here. All I should do is I want you to lift up your arms, have your feet a uh, little bit, the hips width apart, toes facing me. Now what I want you to do is I want you to engage those abs which brings those hips slightly forward and I want your abs to be nice and tight throughout this workout. I will be reminding us throughout to engage them. Your arm is going to go out right here and then I want you to crunch down low and then stand right back up. So a side view is I'm right here. It's almost like somebody punched you in the gut and then stands right back up. It's almost like you're like, ugh. So you're doing a standing crunch, crunching those abs, and standing right back up, right like this, like a T, crunching it down, and standing right back up. You want to do this nice and slow. You are concentrating on those abs, bringing those hips slightly forward. Stomach is in nice and tight, open. Crunch it and open. One more. Crunch it down and then open. Nice job, guys. Now what we are going to do is our arms are going to be right like this. I want you to go out just a little bit wider with those legs. And what you're going to do is it's going, my right leg is going to go behind me and I'm going to meet it with my left. So be right here and I'm going to meet this one with my right. All right, so I have those arms out. And crawling up my leg. All right, so we're right here. Left arm is going to hit that left foot right behind you, and then right here. Other side, and here. Nice job, guys. Now, if you don't have weights, don't worry about it. Just have your palms facing forward. You want to lift that opposite arm up above you right here. Give yourself that extra crunch behind you making sure to touch that heel or that foot right behind you right there crunching it nice job guys crunch crunch now the weight's just extra you don't have to use it just make sure those palms are facing forward all right one more right here nice and down all right this next move we are going to do the one arm is going to go up. I'm going to have my left up. My feet are just straight down. So it's like a, it's like two feet between. I'm going to go down to a mini squat, very, very little shallow squat right here. This is going to go up. Palms are facing down. This leg's going to go straight. Foot is pointed. What we're going to do is we're going to lift this side up just a little bit. Right leg's going to cross over. Left crosses over that knee right back here. Cross over, right here. This is what you're doing. Just like this. You're holding that shallow squat on that other leg. Opening it up. Crossing over. Open up. Crossing over. Now the same arm with the leg that's pointed out to the side is not up that much as you can see. It's lower than the other side. Crunch. So I'm making nice and tight for this. Good. One more. And stand up. Great job, guys. We're going to do the other side now. So the right side arm is going to go up. Shallow squat. The left leg is pointed and straight. This one's just going to lift up. Left arm is going to lift up just a little bit. Here we go. Cross it over and then open. Cross over and then open. Nice and slow. When it comes to abs, slower is better. So you want to concentrate on those muscles. Make sure your abs are engaged right now. Nice and tight, guys. You don't want to blow them out. Slowly 
keep crossing over and right here. Now, if you can't go down to that squat, this works too. You can stand straight up if that squat's too much for you. But if not, keep giving me that squat. Great, one more. And there you are, nice. All right, you guys. Now the next one we are gonna do is I want you to engage those abs again, hips forward. So I don't know about you, but I just let mine go. So hips are forward, stomach's in nice and tight. Now I want you to put your arms together right like this, but I don't want you to shrug your shoulders up. Keep those shoulders nice and down and relax. Just lift those arms up right here in front of you. Elbows go up slightly. I want you to twist to one side. I want you to twist to the other right here. Good, very little. Now my knees and my toes are still facing you. I'm trying not to move my hips that much, just keeping them solid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch down to that opposite toe right there. Punch down to that toe. And when you do, I want you to give yourself that little crunch right there. Right like that, punch it down. Punching towards those toes. And right back here, opposite side, down, up, down, up. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. Ooh, I am feeling these. Let me know if you guys feel these. Punch down cross. Or let me know, better yet, let me know which move you felt right away. Awesome. All right, you guys, we have four more. Four, three. Two and one. Nice job, guys. All right. Now what we're going to do, our last one is our arms are going to go up here. This leg is going to go back. We're going to bring that knee up and then right here. Now I want you to cross over, if you can, if you're able to, that arm, that hand should cross over that knee. And I want your foot to be flexed when you lift it up. That engages those muscles. So right here, stomach getting nice and tight. Here we go. Cross it over and right here. Now, if this is all you can do, that's all right. And if you can't even do that at all, just step it in right like this, but still cross over for me. It's still kind of crunch down, okay? But if you can, lift up that knee. Again, it's nice and slow. I don't go flat foot over here. I am up on my toes. Nice, this one's just hanging out here, this arm. Great job, guys. Four more, four. Three, two, last one, and one. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. This arm is just gonna hang out. This one's gonna go up on an angle, so I'm not straight over my head. I'm out on an angle by my ears. Come on up on this toe. Let's cross over knee to hand, and then open. Nice and slow. Make sure that stomach's in nice and tight, guys. Nice and tight right here. And again, if you can't lift up that much, you can go here or just bring it in. Still crunching, still crossing over that leg if you can. And if you can bring it up, bring it up. And I did not have my foot flexed. Now I do. Make sure that foot is flexed when you bring it up, down on the toes when you come down. Nice and slow. There you guys go. Nice. Three, two, last one, and one. Awesome job, guys. All right, we're going to start from the beginning. I'm going to do round two without weights. All right, for those of you who don't have any, this is what it looks like. Arms are up. If you can, make a fist if you're able to. You're going to bring it down right here together and then open up. So stand up nice and tall, right like this, like a T. Crunch it in like Credible Hulk if you're back in the day. You're on my age. If not, trust me, Credible Hulk used to go like that. <laughs> and up. Bring it down. Straight arms though. And up. Remember, it's almost like somebody punched you in the gut. And you're standing right back up. <clears throat> Crunching those abs. <clears throat> right there. And up. Nice. One more, and up, nice. All right, now we're gonna do those ones where you're gonna 
bend your knee, kick it behind, you're gonna touch it with the opposite side. Arms are gonna be up like a T, tilt to one side, crunch it. Tilt to the other side, crunch it. Now if I go a little too fast, I'm gonna try really hard not to. I do have a bad habit when I don't have weights in my arms. I have a bad habit of going a little too faster. Or faster than I'm supposed to. Let's go at the speed you can. Taking its time with each movement, kicking it back, that extra crunch right there. One more. Nice. All right, you guys. Now what we're going to do, feet are going to be like just uh, hips down. So about two feet, one foot, and I don't know, foot and a half to two feet between. Just straight down from those hips. One arm's going to come right up here. Um, into a T. Opposite leg's going to go out. The same arm with the leg out just goes up a little bit. And this one's going to cross over and then go right here. I do crunch. I stand up. I am leaning slightly forward with this movement right here. So I open up and I'm down. I'm really crunching those abs right here. Crunch and then open. Crunch and then open. One arm. Whoa, I have a I totally lost my balance there. Shouldn't have looked away. One arm goes up like a T, the other one's just down here. One more. Nice job. All right, let's do that other side. Lift that arm up to a T. Opposite leg goes out. This one just lifts up a little bit. Let's cross it over the front and open up. Cross it over and open. If you're able to, the goal is to cross over that knee and that thigh area if you're able to. If not, that's okay. You do slightly lean forward. Again, if this is all you can do, this is good too. All right? Ain't no shame in it. Not at all. Nice job, guys. Slight bend in that standing knee. One more. And open. Nice job. Whew, it is a hot one out here today, guys. All right, last one we're gonna do. Arm goes up here, opposite knee. It's gonna come up, cross, and then right here. Up and cross, and then right here. Flex foot when you're lifting up. Remember, if you can't lift up, that's okay. Just go right like this. This arm's just hanging out. Ooh, nice. One more, and I did forget a move. We'll add that next. Arm up here, knee up, then out. Knee up, and then out. Nice job, guys. Get that foot flexed in the air, up on the toes, and then knee up. Great. All right, let's do one more. Here we go. Cross it over. Nice. All right, if you have weights or don't, put your fists together right here. Remember, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Don't scrunch them up. You want them just relaxed, just bending at the elbow right here. Lift the elbows slightly. Let's go side to side. Very little. Engage those abs. Hips are forward. Here we go. Little twist side to side. Keeping those hips centered. If you can, try. If you're finding yourself doing this, ooh, stop yourself because you're going to really hurt that back, okay? Hips forward, stomach in tight. Here we go. All right, let's punch down that opposite toe now. Punching down. It's a slight twist and punch. And when I go down, I am crunching my abs a little bit right there. Nice. Crunch it. Crunch, crunch. Great job, guys. Woo! Here we go. Crunch it out. Crunch, crunch. One more. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna grab my so-called weights. Grab your weights again, if you still have. Let's do round three. All right, you guys, let's start from the beginning. Arms are upright like this as a T. Bring it down, crunching it up, and then stand straight up. Remember, it's like somebody's punching you into the gut. And you're here. Crunch. 
crunch, stand up. Crunch, stand up. Really want you to concentrate those abs right here. All right, give me one more. Nice. All right, open up a little bit more. Here we go, to your toes to the back. Touch that heel if you can with that weight or those hands. And side to side, really crunching the back area right here, working the core. It's great for those love handles. Nice. Bring that arm up right here, overhead, if you like. Now, if this is too difficult, just step back, bring it down. Step back, bring it down. I still want you to work this side of your body. One more. Nice job, guys. All right. So now we're going to bring your feet in just a little bit. Again, just hips down. We're doing that shallow. We're going to go down into a shallow squat right here. One arm is going to go up. Opposite leg is going to go out, pointing. This one's just right here. Cross it and then open. Cross and then open. Nice job. Pressing over that knee, leaning forward slightly, but my back is straight. So even though I'm leaning forward, I'm leaning forward from that hip area, not my spine. All right. My stomach's being pushed in right now, really crunching when I go over. Here we go, three more. Three, two, last one. One. Nice job, guys. All right, stand right like this. Let's go down into that shallow squat arm up, opposite leg out. This lifts up a little bit. Let's cross over. Good. So make it nice and tight. Great job. Cross over. Cross. Okay, let's do five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, bring those weights right here. Remember, cautious of those shoulders. Want to keep them nice and relaxed, so just bend right here. Lift those elbows up just slightly, and twist side to side. Make sure that stomach's engaged, hips are forward. Here we go, twist. Side to side, just very little, not too much. Remember, you don't, I'm not looking for a full twist, just at this waist area. Working those abs. Now punch down, opposite toe. Slight turn, punching down. Make sure to crunch those abs. Punching down, opposite side. Nice job, all right, we got five more. Five, four, <clears throat> three, two, last one, one. Nice job, guys. Alright, I'm going to ditch my so-called weights. Alright, feet together, feet together, knees together. Raise those arms up and I want you to lean back. Tip that head back if you can. Stretching out those abs. Come straight up. One arm stretches longer than the other. Try to touch the sky or ceiling. Bring it back. Again, hold back just a little bit, head up, go back to center, stretch up that other arm, touch that sky, touch that ceiling, and bring it down nice and slow. Nice job, guys. Let's open up nice and wide, toes facing me. Let's go over to one side, stretching out that waist area, bring it down. Let's stretch out the other side. Bring it down. Nice job. Let's slowly go down to the ground. Touch it if you can. If not, you can use a water bottle. You can use whatever you have on the house. Bend one knee. Straighten it. Bend the other knee. Straighten it. Slowly come up. Nice job, guys. I want you just a little bit hips apart. Let's do some hip drills one way. Nice, and then go the other way. Do some of those lower back muscles. All right, so we're 
right here. Now what I want you to do, hands on the waist or hip area. I want you to tilt out. Looks like a teenager with an attitude. <laughs> Pop that show, uh, hip area out to the side. And bring it right back here to the other side. Good job guys. Alright, we're going to end with our breathing. We're going to breathe in nice and slow and long, filling up our lungs through the nose while lifting up our arms to the side. We're going to hold up on top and we're going to exhale nice and long, releasing it from our lungs out of our mouth, bringing our arms down to the front. Alright you guys, ready? And inhale up. Hold. Which one did you feel right away, if any? And did you use weights or did you not use weights? Here's for help you. Oh wait, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, click that bell icon so you're alerted when I hit and make new workouts. I uh, upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So here's to a healthier you. Peace out from Naples.